Check out footcointraders.com for all of your ultimate team coins and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself an extra discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the My Player series. This is episode number eight or nine, potentially. I think we're up to now. We've got two games today at home against Crew, and then we've got Warsaw in the second one. I'm not entirely too sure whether it's at home or away. But if you missed any of the previous episodes of this series, of course, there are two episodes that go up during the week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. They don't tend to do so well as these weekend ones. So if you did miss them, you want to keep bang up to date with what's going on in the series. Feel free to check the channel page, and uh, you can check those videos out there. And be sure to uh, in the future, you know. Check back on uh, on your sub boxes, etc. during the week. But uh, anyway, let's jump into this game against Crew, shall we? We've been playing it very, very well on a personal level. And as a team, we've been getting results as well. In the last episode, we uh, we snatched a win against uh, Shrewsbury, was it? In the uh, in the cup? No, I think it was Colchester. I can't remember. It was Shrewsbury or Colchester. I think we played both. One in the league, one in the cup. My memory fails me. But nonetheless, we're going, going well in the league on a four-win streak, I think, in the league. Maybe even a five. And, uh, of course, progressing through nicely in the Johnson's paint trophy as well. So hopefully we can continue that run in the league here. And uh, let's jump into the game. We're up top alongside Billy Painter again. So fingers crossed we can bag ourselves another couple of goals. Oh, we're off to a great start. Winning that tackle. Try and play in Billy. Make a run off him. Oh, it's a great tackle from Ellis. And now fallen over him. Lol. Right. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I might. Now I've got a man on either side. I'm going to cut back inside and then we'll get a shot away. Oh, he stuck a cheeky big curly toe in there. That's a great tackle because that was flying top. So you just know when I get a shot from the edge of the box. It's going to fly into the top corner and there is absolutely no sarcasm in that whatsoever. Nice link up play. That's lovely from Davies. I'm going to square it. Oh, no. Oh, it could go in. Oh, it didn't. It went out for a corner. Brrr, that was close. We almost uh, got gifted an own goal there. Let's have the corner, shall we? Whip it in. I'm going to call for it at the near post. It's coming our way. Oh, Grant gets here before me. Oh, Tekka's on the volley. Oh, that's not bad. Nice volley. Not much power behind it, but definitely forced the goalkeeper into a save. Crew having their first meaningful attack of the game down this left-hand side. Tootle plays it back to Grant. They keep the possession quite well at the minute. We've had a lot of the ball in this opening first half, but this is their first time to uh, to really threaten us at the back. It's a great tackle from Brayford. He's done really well there. As great defending boys and knocking it about really, really nice as well. Well cut out by Chris Maguire, though. That's not good from the goalkeeper, though. Through to Inman. Through to Chuck Zaniki. Puts it wide. Absolutely golden chance. Absolutely, he's offside anyway, but absolutely golden chance for crew there. Mistake from the goalkeeper. He is just offside, but if he'd have gone inside rather than outside, they really could have been in there. It's a good tackle from Baxter. Put the pressure on. Put the pressure on. Maybe they'll make a mistake. Maybe they'll make a mistake. Hounded him. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. They've made a mistake. Oh, we can't capitalise. That is why you put pressure on as high up the pitch as possible, because we really, really had a chance there. Just wouldn't quite fall to me properly. Someone make me a run. We'll play it out wide and then call for it again. That's a lovely ball. I need to get on the weights though. Just not quite strong enough. Looking for Billy. Oh, I should have played it back to the man that played it to me. Paint has done well. Can we work something? Can we work something? I'm going to call for it. We'll give it a bash even though I've got a couple of players in front of me. He's dropped Davies. Great shot. He's offside. Now, can we offer anything here? I'm going to pull back on the edge of the box. He's played it to me. Chance to go 1-0 up. And we've taken it. It's Sheffield United 1. Crew Alexander 0. Cheeky little bear celebration. Loving it, boys. That's a, a goal that we haven't scored recently. It's been an episode or two since we managed to actually find the back of the net ourselves. And that just pulling the ball or pulling off the back of the defender there to receive the ball on the edge of the box was a fantastic decision to open up the space to put the ball into the back of the net. Really, really pleased to be able to pick up a goal there. And hopefully that isn't all for this game. Crew coming down this left-hand side. They really need to get themselves back in the game if they can. They've got a bit of space which is opening up as our defenders start to get a little bit fatigued, a little bit more tired. Not able to close down as uh, vigorously as we have been earlier on in the game. And I'm kind of a little bit concerned that they're going to force their way through at the minute. Though we seem to be just about holding out for now. That's a good ball out wide to Chuck Zaniki. If he can find some space, which he has. He gets the cross in, but it's a great clearance from the defender. Throwing himself at that at the near post. And away we go. It's a lovely ball through. Aniki plays in more. Can he finish it? Great save long. 
What a reaction save. That is exactly what we needed from him at that moment in time. That's the first meaningful shot they've had all game. And oh look, my mate Jefferson's been brought onto the pitch. Cheers, manager. I don't even know who Sheffield United manager is at the minute. But I'm disappointed in him for bringing on Jefferson over Billy Painter. Need to stay solid for these last few moments. Only one minute to be added on. Tuxaniki's going to play it out wide to Park. They're passing it around on the edge of our box really nicely. As handball ref, clear it. Yes. We could be in. Mistake by the defender. Jefferson. Oh, never mind. The referee's going to blow the final whistle. Not to worry. We take another three points, another goal for us. And to be honest, for the first time in quite a while, I was particularly pleased with how the team defended. It's not really been the strong point of the side so far this season to, uh, to our experience here at Sheffield United. But that time, we were very, very good indeed. And our goal was the difference to give us all three points. Delighted to take a win from that one. Let's move on to that Walsall game. Playing away from home against Walsall then in this one. Playing in our chain strip of all yellow. And unfortunately the, uh, the manager has decided to play Jefferson up top alongside me rather than Billy Painter. But maybe maybe I need to give him a chance. Maybe he's actually going to come good in this one. I hope he does because uh, uh, back-to-back wins would be very, very nice indeed. We actually need to pick up an assist or two as well as some goals if we possibly can for our league objectives. So maybe I'm going to look to uh, to pass the ball a little bit more in this one and uh, perhaps try and pick up an assist as opposed to a goal. Although, of course, if the opportunity presents itself to us to score a goal, then, uh, of course, we will take that. But uh, fingers crossed we can get a good result from this one as well and push on further up the league into those playoff spots. Let's have a look and see where we are right now. Sixth, so we are in the playoff spots. First and second are automatic and then it's second, uh, third through to sixth who are in the playoff spots. So we're, we're in the playoffs so far. Hopefully we can move further on up the table after this game. Done well to win the ball there. Turn inside. Come on, Jefferson. Oh, ref! Have a shot. Have a shot. Can we get an assist? Oh, is it going to go in? Oh, no, it's not. It trickles wide of that far post. A decent run by Jefferson there. I'll give him credit. He did quite well, apart from the finish. He tried the right idea to try and slot it back across the goalkeeper, but just didn't quite have the execution. He's done well to find me. And I drew a step over inside again. Jefferson. Go on, son. Oh, he's played the 1-2. We could be in here. I'm going to try and find a cross. Is there a man at the back post? Jump! He did. I'll give him credit. He jumped. Just didn't quite get anywhere near it. Chance isn't dead. Davies out wide. Lovely step over and then gives the ball away. But we pick up a free kick. Don't take it quickly. Don't take it quickly. He's taken it quickly. Go on then. Give it a whack. Oh, so close to that bottom corner. Actually taking that free kick quickly probably was the best idea in that situation. He's come ever so close. It's just curling away rather than curling towards the post. Oh, We're coming closer to that first goal though. Another very, very slow first half. It seems to be taking us a while, or either team a while, to be able to get off the mark and actually create something of any worthwhile note. So uh, hopefully we can have uh, a better second half again and hopefully we can pick up a goal and win the game again. But so uh, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, he's done really, really well. That's a lovely ball in. I'm going to call for it back. Lamey, it drops. Shoot, you funny. Oh, it was hammering B. Nothing happened. The absolute chance to smash it into the back of the net and he just turns and looks at the ball. What sort of... I just don't have any words. I can't even insult him. He's that idiotic and that retarded. I'd feel bad to insult my guy right now. That was just awful. Westcar nicks it off us. We're in trouble here. We're in real trouble if he can find a pass. They've got the advantage for the free kick as well. And he's just played it all the way back to his defender, which makes no sense whatsoever. And we've stolen it and we're breaking away. Right, Billy, I'm going to try and pass to you because I said I wanted an assist. I said I wanted an assist. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Win that header. Win that header. Assist! We got it! Yes! Sheffield United 1, Walsall 0. We've achieved exactly what we wanted to get in this game. Sliding in, yeah, celebrating with our main man, Billy Painter. That's exactly what we needed from this game. I told you Billy Painter's better than Jefferson, and the manager listened, brought him on from the bench. We pick up an assist. 
That is another fantastic three points, boys. We've got exactly what we wanted out of that game. An assist, which is what we went into it saying we wanted from it. And we got a goal in the first one as well. So a goal and an assist from the episode for ourselves. Two slim 1-0 wins. And Sheffield United push on further up the table. We'll have a look and see where we are in the table. We've got a 6.3 rating overall. Apparently didn't have a single shot ourselves. We had that glorious opportunity where my guy just absolutely ignored the ball right in front of him. But... Fortunately, it didn't cost us. There weren't that many chances in the game at all, to be completely honest. Three for us, two for them. But I'll have to wait and see where we are in the league. We're still only rated 71. We've got Swindon coming up next. Let's have a look. We're up to fifth. Looking very, very nice in the league right now. Just four points away from that automatic spot behind Coventry City. Only conceded five goals all season. That's fantastic. Our goal difference is clearly doing well. But as you can see, Wolves and Coventry have scored uh, or only conceded single figures as well and scored a lot more. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're picking up points. We're getting results and we're getting goals, etc. So let's have a look and see how we're getting on with our overall objectives for the season. They want... 17 goals from us. We've got six so far. Projected six. Why did it not give us that assist? I've only just realised that it didn't give me the assist for that goal. Well, that's unfortunate considering it was an assist. That's annoying. But anyway, uh, we'll try and get an assist in the next game against Swindon then. So we average rating a 6.3 when we need 7.2. Not good. Goals is the only one we're on target so far. So hopefully next time out we can do a lot better and pick up some, uh, some performances and uh, maybe improve as a pro as well because we're doing quite well right now so that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb if we could hit over 100 again i'd be ever so grateful that'd be fantastic if you missed the previous episode there's a link in the bottom left hand side of your pictures and annotation to it although feel free to check the channel page as well of course there'll be more of this tomorrow and there was ac milan career mode yesterday so uh, plenty going on on the channel with career mode wise player and uh, and manager mode so feel free to subscribe if you haven't already links in the description etc etc but i'm going to stop rambling now that's all for today thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time